right, welcome back. So this is the last assignment for 5.2. This is 5.2.6. This is the career website project, you guys. So you want to keep in mind is all this code that we're going to be putting in is code that we're going to need later on. So you want to keep that in mind because um, uh, everything that we're going to be putting in, we've got to copy and paste into the next time we have the career assignment, which is also going to be in 5.3. So next time... Uh, or among the other assignments for next lesson, so 5.3, we're going to need all this code back. Okay, so keep that in mind. We're going to need to come back to this code, and we're going to need to um, uh, put that in as well. Okay. So first up is what they want us to do is take our web page. We've got these two web pages. I've got the index and the job info. I've made them exactly the same. And if we were to open these up, you can see they're exactly the same. The only difference is is on um, the web address here at the very end you got index.html and this one has jobinfo.html that's the only difference and pretty much right now that's the only way we can tell the difference but we're gonna go to the index and we're gonna call this one um, we, we just want to name it uh, the name of any kind of career so you should go into Google if you need to and just uh, Google if you'd like to um, uh, different careers and so you can look up whatever you want. Um, again, it's not, it doesn't matter what you choose. Business, finance, arts and design, construction. I don't really care what you choose, but you can come down here. Look, there's a list of 12,000 careers. Boom. You can click on that one, find possibly some, some careers that you want to look at, or the 100 best jobs in America, these careers, something like that. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to choose my own because I feel the freedom to be able to do that. And I'm going to start with being a business owner just like you guys saw that I did in class and right now that's just the title of my web page so if I go to my index and reload you can see up here at the top it's now saying being a business owner or something like that alright so that is the title of my index let's go to job info so uh, again you, you, you don't have to copy down exactly what I'm putting in here I'm saying a business owner but if you're like yeah I want to be an artist or an author or YouTube influencer or something like that you can feel free to type those in and and uh, you'll probably want to change some of the wording here of course you'd want to uh, next up for our job info we'll just say um, for the title we'll say information for, for May information about business owners something like this and when I reload this now in the in the job info HTML you can see up here at the top is now change that title of my tag to the title that I have right here so that's the first thing we're gonna do next up um, let's go back to the index and what we want to do is um, uh, we want to link this to the style sheet right and in fact, we want to do this with the job info. So I'm going to put this code in here and I'm going to type it in. But you could go to the previous assignment and type it in as well. Okay. Here's my style sheet. It's empty. There's nothing there. But if I go to my index, I can start linking this to the style sheet. So open angle bracket L I N K space R E L equals quotations. And this is S T Y L E S E H E E T close quotations space type equals quotations text slash css close quotations href equals quotations style dot c c s s close quotations close angle bracket so this is the same code that i use to access the style sheet even when i go to the job info page so i just copied that and pasted it in here even though right now there are no styles inside of my cascading style sheet so that at least completes the kind of our first steps for this assignment and again nothing changes in here even if I were to reload either one of these websites but now inside of my style sheet oh well, actually let's go to the hmm let's go to the index beer and let's start entering some information about being a business owner and the first thing we're going to want to do that is a level one header 
And with our level one header, we just want a short description for being a business owner. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, a business owner is their own boss. And if you want to ex exclaim that with an exclamation point, you're welcome to do that. I don't really feel the need to put a uh, punctuation inside a level one header because you'll see as I reload this, it already makes this text quite large. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's my level one header. After this, we're going to enter a level two header. And uh, that's what that's kind of what we'll say right here. Um, well, I'm owning a busyness. Mm, uh, makes me the author of my own script. How about that? And again, if I go to my web page and reload this, now you can see the difference between level one and level two headers. Now that I have my level two heading in there, we can enter a paragraph about being a business owner. So again, for whatever you're doing, you wouldn't write the same things I'm writing. You'd write whatever the stuff you want to write about. And so you'd say maybe why you want to be a, your own business owner. So you'd say, I want to own my own busyness so that I can be my own boss and write my own script in life, period. Um, I do not want to be an actor in someone else's script. Additionally, um, I do not want to be a wage slave. And yes, slavery still exists. Um, in addition to that, <coughs> um, Let's see, I, I, I want the ability to make as much money as I can. Maybe, right? Or maybe you'd say something like, um, I don't want to limit my earning potential with salaries and raises. Hey, and again, that's a fairly good paragraph, three or four sentences, four or five sentences, whatever. Uh, but again, let's take a look at what this looks like in my web page. There it is. That looks pretty good. And the last thing we want to do here now that we have a paragraph in our index is to link, uh, to put a link to the job info.html. So that's the last thing we're going to do here inside the body. We have an A tag with a hyperlink reference equals quotations and this one is going to job info info.html close quotations close angle brackets and then if you want to close your a tag you can but make sure in here I think they want us to put in there um, more in formation like this okay so what is this going to do for us well now that I have that, you can see there's a link to more information, which is going to take me to my information about being a business owner, but there's nothing in there yet because my job info page has no information in it other than a title. So that's my index, and that's all I need to do with the index right now. So I am going to go to my job info.html file, and again, I've already put in the link to the cascading style sheet. But now that I have that, I can start entering some information into the body, such as a level one header. And again, we're going to put in the specific name of the job that we want, which is, again, I'll just put a little bit more. I want to be a business owner, something like this one. And again, let's go to this web page and see what it looks like. There's my level one header. And now that I have my level one header in there, uh, it wants us to use level three headers in this, um, but it wants us to have four of them. Now, what I'm going to do is put a little space in the code between each of these so that later on, once we get these level three headers, of course, chances are they're going to want more information 
that goes with those level three headers and it's possible that even two spaces would work even better for us but it doesn't really matter okay for the information that we want and again you get to choose your own information whatever you want to do okay so being a business owner um, here we'll put in a description that's the first thing we'll do um, average average uh, average earnings we'll, we'll, we'll do that one. earnings and then we'll have a another one let's see um, <clears throat> kinds of business ownership and then our fourth one we'll just do re, uh, related um, occupations how about that one Okay, so this is just going to show us these three level three, the uh, four level three headers right there, which we do need. And then the last thing we want in our job info.html is a hyperlink. So we got an A tag with an I hyperlink refen reference. href equals quotations. This one is going to go to the home page, which is the index.html for us. So close. Quotations, close angle brackets, and we're going to call this one the home page, just home. And then we can close out the A tag right there. Well, what does this look like? Let's reload it. And again, we have the home page. We can go back forth, back and forth between the home page and our information page. Now, if you wanted to, of course, you can like after your level three header right here, you can put in a uh, break if you wanted to. You could even put in a horizontal row and you can see what that looks like if we go to the web page and just reload it. Maybe you like this line right here. Maybe you don't. Maybe you like the space. I don't know what you like. I'm going to keep this stuff in here just to show you that you can keep it if you'd like. It's not going to mess around. Uh, it's, it shouldn't mess with your grade. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, sometimes that kind of stuff does. So I am going to take it out. I apologize. So I did take it out. But re remember, we know how to do this kind of stuff in a web page. So whether you keep it or not isn't really the, uh, uh, isn't the important part as long as you know how to do it. In fact, it's more that is more important than the grade here. Okay, so that completes another step for us. Now let's go to the last thing we want to do on this, which is to give ourselves some cascading style rules. And um, let's see. Mm, let's start with uh, let's start with the links. Okay, so uh, for my A links or my a tags rather a tags which contain the links what we want to do is give this a font dash size colon of again choose for yourself but I'm gonna go with 16 pixels um, and that should that should change that right off the bat our and again that's just down here at the bottom it's the home if I reload that well it didn't really change very much let's see if this one changes more it still didn't change very much so 16 pixels uh, it really didn't change that very much, but now we're going to change the font, S-T-Y-L-E, font style, to, you can change it to whatever you want, whether it's bold or um, underline italic. I'm going to go with I italic, italic. Okay, and when I go back and reload this, there we go. I see the change there, and then for my information page, boom, that changed to being italicized right there. Now, of course, you could add more more rules, but right now we just want to stick with this because we want the credit, right? So now that we've got our A tags, <clears throat> excuse me, probably should have started with this because the A tags are in the body. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put the body at the top because it's kind of it kind of contains the other tags that I'm working with on this. So in the body, here's what we want to do is we want to give this a background color. So background dash c o l o r and then we're ready for a color so go back here find a color to choose and let's see I think I chose for the classes we chose Dodger blue so I'm gonna come back in here and I'm just gonna type in Dodger blue like this one and let's see if that changes the two pages so here reload boom Dodger blue background Dodger blue black background it changed both of them because again in the job info page on line six for me we have the link to the cascading style sheet and same with the index line six we have a link to the cascading style sheet so it changed both of those to dodger blue just like it did for our links inside of the a tags 
Now, some, some students have looked at this before. Let's, let's go back to the pages and said, well, this is kind of a darker blue. What we'd like to do is be able to see these a little bit easier. So what we can do is in addition to making the background color blue, we can change the text to a lighter color. And I chose white because um, we've tried yellow before and it, I don't know, it just doesn't look as good as making these texts white. In fact, I'll show you yellow because for the A tag, I'm gonna add a color rule making these ones yellow. And when we do this, you can see it, it, it does pop a little bit for both of them. But I think white just looks a little better. So I'm going to keep my hyperlinks yellow right here, even though it didn't say that I had to do that. That was information I put in, but I didn't have to inside of my cascading style sheet. OK. The next rule we're going to put in is for our paragraph tags. And again, the order right here isn't actually going to matter either. But I can put in a paragraph rule. Let's see, our paragraphs, we want to give a font-family. And we're going to make these ones, um, well, we'll do with Arial again. Remember, we used Arial in that other assignment. So let's see what this does. Let's see, what was that for? That was for our paragraphs, right? So the paragraphs are in. Yeah, it's in the it's in the index, right? We don't have any paragraphs here, so uh, this is the text that I'm expecting to change. Reload, boom, and it did change, uh, even just a little bit right there into the Arial font family right there. Okay, so this is working, which means I can go to my next tag, and we're going to change our level three headers, which are only whoops, are only inside of the job info page. Okay, so what do we want to do with these level three headers? Well, we want to change these all to a specific format. So we're going to change the text. So that's text dash transform colon. And we're going to make these all uppercase. U-P-P-E-R-C-A-S-E. -E. And I can go back to my, um, well, this one. This is the info. And I'm expecting all of this text right here which are all four of my level three headers to change in the uppercase when I reload, and sure enough, they do. Okay, so this is my website right now. Again, we're going to be using this website and all three of these pages. Here's my index. Well, let's show the whole thing. That should be a little bit more helpful. A little bit, a little bit small there. Let's try and make that a little bigger. That seems okay. So we're going to need to copy all of this and paste it into the next assignment that has the um, the career website, which is 5.3.7. So you want to remember that we need to paste this into 5.3.7. We need to copy and paste this also into 5.3.7 and also our style sheet. We need all three sheets, and we need to copy and paste all of the information, all of the all of this text in there. But before we do that, let me just show the, the code again in case you need it. Here's my index. And you can pause the video if you need it. Here's my job info, which again, you can pause the video if you need it. And here's the style sheet, which again, if you need to pause, you're welcome to do that. Well, let's see if I can make this all show up. That's a little better. Okay, well, that's all we have for this assignment. Again, we're going to need this assignment. So if you have anything that's not working like it should, or if you don't get the credit, do whatever you need to to get the credit, and then uh, we're going to use this code in that assignment 5.3.7.